Halfway Cool Jazz 16 to 1 with Michael Roberts. Tabuk trades a 4 to 1 joint favourite with Walter Swinburne. Cool Jazz, I should say, from stall 4. From stall 6, Tabuk. Uh, from stall 3, Mary Hinge, another 4 to 1 joint favourite. Paul Ettery rides that, and he's within the last two winners of this corresponding race. From stall 1, Royal Figurine, 16 to 1, Jason Weaver. From 13, Dollar Gamble, 20 to 1 for Frankie de Torre. Jay Pettit, a 7 to 1 chance with Lester Piggott. From stall eight, from stall two, Nathan Last, 12 to one, Terry Lucas. From nine, Heaver Golf Rose, 25 to one, Stephen Davis. From five, Close to Reality, 7 to one, Kieran Fallon. From 12, Hello Mister, 14 to one, Pat McCabe claims a five. One on one is ridden by Willie Carson from stall seven, and they're a seven to one chance. From stall 14, the rail runner is Encore Milady, 20 to one, Nick Carlisle. From stall 11, Roving Minstrel, 10 to one, Alan Mackay. And from the 10 stall, the multi Yorker, 33 to 1. Neil Kennedy claims three pounds, but in fact can't. He puts up three pounds overweight. That's the lineup then for this William Hill Trophy, the trip six furlongs. You are, Graham. And orders race away, the multi Yorker slow to go. Expect the pace to come from Tabuk, blue colours, uh, up with the pace, and so too Nathan Lass. Further right is Royal Figurine, but also Jay Pett is there, one on one in the bright red colours, is sharing the pace, and on the extreme left with the hoop sleeves, Encore Milady, followed through by Dollar Gamble. The action is down the centre to stand side, and they come down to the first quarter mile, and it's uh, Tabuk that's uh, been headed by one on one, and one on one has it. Tabuk, the light blue cap, further right in red. Nathan Lass, then Encore Milady, followed through uh, then by the multi Yorker, and after that one is Hello Mister. They come down to the halfway stage, one on one has it, and it's starting to go to work on Tabuk. Mary Hinge is off the pace. Encore Milady, the multi Yorker with a run. Hello Mister's behind them. They've come down towards the two furlong marker. Encore Milady and one on one. Tabuk won't be winning. Royal Figurine with a run. Cool Jazz on the extreme right from the back row. Minstrel starts to pick up, but they're inside the final furlong, and it's Encore Milady that goes on from one on one. From the back is Heaver Golf Rose with a late surge. Cool Jazz the far side, but Encore Milady once again is going to take it. Heaver Golf Rose flag at the finish, but at the line, Encore Milady, Encore Milady, Heaver Golf Rose, a photo third, one on one on Cool Jazz. And leave that for the judge. Then came Mary Hinge, close to reality. The multi Yorker, Hello Mister, followed by Roving Minstrel. Tabuk was never able to dominate, but beat Naden Lass, Royal Figurine, Jay Pett, and Dollar Gamble. And so the result then of this, the William Hill Trophy. It's a number win for number 12, Encore Milady, in the colours of Mr. Franny Lee, uh, trained by him at Wilmslow and uh, ridden by Nick Carlisle, the 20 to 1 winner. This one bred up at the Irish National Stud and Dancing Dissident. Uh, the sire, well, that's uh, managed to prevail. Second horse home is number eight, Heva Golf Rose. That's in the black colours there. Officially, the judge calls a photo between these two, and these are some way clear of a close call for third place between one on one and cool jazz, and that definitely is one for the judge, split by the width of the track. But this Encore Milady, one of the lightly raced horses ridden by Nick Carlisle, well ridden by him, was able to go off this lightweight from the front, and uh, a winner over five furlongs is the first time she has won over six, and what a race to win the £40,000 William Hill Trophy. Encore Milady, 20 to 1. Second number 8, Heva Golf Rose, 25 to 1. Third number 11, one on one at 13 to 2. The tote returns win number 12, 26 pounds, 60 pence. Places number 12, 4 pounds, 40. Number 8, 5 pounds, 10. And number 11, 2 pounds exactly. The dual forecast, 234 pounds, 70 pence. The unplaced favorite was number 2, Tabuk at 4 to 1. Four